I'll be hearing his name a lot and how he likes to, you know, scam, scam, like, you know, you know, people and sh out, out monies, out their monies and shit. But, um, but we're gonna know, like, but I'm gonna know, like, I wanna know how he's scamming, though, how he's scamming, like, how he's, like, getting money, like, so, yeah. Later. The NBA 2K community have eventually moved on to flourish in other venues. NP as a group comes from the community, whether directly or indirectly. I trust me that Inner Boss has changed the live streaming game forever, and Dev Take Flight became Punch Me Dev. The internet's the most famous scam, at least for the time being. But what if I told you what Dev is getting buzzed for right now is not anything new? The Bible says that there is nothing new under the sun, and what has been done will be done again. In the past few years, a controversial subgenre of rap called scam rap has become popular in underground circles, which focuses on lyrics about committing cyber crimes, identity theft, and credit card fraud. This style of rap was popularized by the rapper TJX6, who gained a massive following in 2019. His songs like Dark Web and Swipe Story lay out the intricate details of how certain scams are committed. Tasher Kwan, a notable collaborator of TJ, is also known as one of the pioneers of scam rap. As recently as a few years ago, the rap group known as Shitty Boys, led by Baby Tron, brought mainstream attention to the genre. The scam rap is not much different from popular rap that we're used to, as it still leaves room to negatively influence today's youth, enticing them to commit crimes. Though the lyrics of TJX6 and Cash Air Quan have crossed the line on many instances, the genre is not known to be overly offensive and edgy when it comes to delivery. The Shitty Boys are a great example of that, as they don't engage in that type of behavior, taking a serious approach when it comes to their brand in comparison to their peers. This is likely the reason for all their continued success. However, Punch Me Dev decided to stand out from his contemporaries, completely pushing the envelope by engaging in some of the most offensive lyricism that you probably ever heard. But before he was Punch Me Dev, the internet's most famous scammer, he was Devon Turner, just another kid from the South. Devon was born in North Carolina, living in a single parent home as the oldest of his siblings. He would move around a lot due to his mother's work, eventually settling in Lexington, Kentucky, a place that would shape his adult life. Dev grew up in a good home for the most part, with his mother providing what she could in her position. I feel like it taught me a lot, like, made me grow up quick. It's taught me a lot of skills. It's made me know that I gotta have my own back. In school, he was a B's and C's student, being really good at sports like track, basketball, and football, even though he really didn't like going to school. His love for sports spilled over into another interest, which was gaming. From gaming came YouTube. Dev started YouTube at 15 years old under the name Dev Take Flight, and would record himself playing NBA 2K to a large following. This is where his early days of gaming began. In the online... So that was him, like, that was his, so that was his channel, though. Oh, oh, I remember him beefing with Fredo, I believe. I remember him, like, beefing with Fredo, like, comment down below. Do y'all remember, um, Dave Flight? Because, like, he was beefing with Fredo, like, back in 2017. Game modes of NBA 2K, there is a ranking system. The highest ranks being the most coveted for the number of in-game prizes. Dev saw this as an opportunity, taking advantage of the adolescent minds of his fellow gamers when he decided to scam them with fake accounts, fooling them into thinking they were high level. Like, so there's like different ranks on there. Like you can go from like, you can be a legend on there. And I was like, I like I was selling like high ranked ass accounts, like with all the badges and like 99 overall, like legend five accounts. And then uh, I would just post them on there, people would buy them and then just block them. You can only get so far by just playing games, so when the NBA 2K community was at its lowest point, Dev decided to switch it up, pursuing his real passion in making music. He found some early success with a song called Track Me, hopping on the meme rap trend that was alive and well in 2018. This song sits at over 18 million plays on Spotify and over 600,000 views on YouTube before it got deleted. After seeing that music was worth pursuing, Dev decided to private all of his NBA 2K videos and change his name to OBN Dev. Shortly after, he ventured into scam rap, drawing inspiration from artists inside and outside the genre like YBN Namir, Polo G, and TJX6. He started to gain traction with songs like Scam Jesus and Scam Bible, with these music videos racking up almost 4 million views combined. Very impressive for a new artist. As time went on, Dev started to build his connection. Yo, that's crazy, bro. This nigga, it's not an openly admitted that he's a scammer, bro. Like, do y'all think he's gonna get locked up one of these days? He's gonna get locked up? Do y'all think he's gonna get locked up for like what he's doing, bro? If he if he's still scamming and shit, let me know, bro. Cause you get locked up for 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 doing that, though. 
We're taking people's, you know, identity, like, monies and all that, bro. But not without some controversy. He would get himself into a feud with TJX6 over Dev supposedly scamming him out of a feature, escalating into personal attacks and online drama documented on Instagram. One of the highest points of this beef was when Dev chased TJ in his car after TJ asked for his location to pull up, only to allegedly duck smoke after he spotted Dev waiting with a group of people. That's right. Hold on. Hey, look at police. Bro, this nigga's ran for real? Dev would then drop a diss track titled Scam Jesus 2, which sits at over 600,000 views. The last movie here of TJX6 will be after Dev pulled up on him last year in the mall looking to fight, with TJ not accepting the challenge. Bitch ass nigga, watch your kid. Don't talk none of that shit on the internet no more. None of that shit on the internet no more. Little nigga, you had a chance to come outside. Dev continued his disrespect, posting TJ's son on his story and calling him a bitch. This entire situation severely hurt TJX6's career and reputation, on top of the accusations of him allegedly scamming his own fans. I mean, why would you want to fight in front of your kid, bro? You, you have, you have, I mean, bro, is that? I mean, he had his son with him, so, like... For Dev's career, it would only take off. In 2021, he uploaded his final video under the OBN Dev moniker in collaboration with the Shinny Boys. In June of that year, he launched a new YouTube channel called Punch Made Dev and updated the rest of his social media accounts to reflect that name change. Punch Made Dev's outrageous and offensive lyrics almost instantly attractive criticism on platforms like Twitter and TikTok, with some expressing genuine dislike for his music. This is due to his many controversial lines in songs like Punch Anthem, Eco Party, Long Live Heather, and How to Write a Dumb. That includes him mocking victims of school shootings and advocating for deadly drug waste. As recently as this month, he dropped a song entitled Special Needs Kid, in which he pushes someone playing an autistic person out of a wheelchair. Earlier this month, Punch Made Dev uploaded a video titled Wire Fraud Tutorial, where he gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to commit wire fraud. But just a few days after dropping it, YouTube removed the video after a request from outside sources. These sources turned out to be law enforcement, possibly the FBI, seeking information about Dev's YouTube account. He reached out to YouTube to appeal, but was turned away. This song was shaping up to be the biggest of Punch Made Dev's career as he had a viral hit on his hands. Despite his offensive lines, there is some speculation about Dev's involvement in actual illegal activities. Although he claims that his music is not reflective of reality and he is a law-abiding citizen, there are clues that suggest otherwise. First, Dev is accused of selling fraudulent methods to his fans in a Telegram chat that has more than 180,000 members. He has offered a cash app method for sale and claims to possess a bot capable of bypassing two-factor authentication. His knowledge of cyber crimes and precautions such as the use of VPNs and proxy servers raise additional concerns about his activities. I think Dev would like us to believe that he has nothing to do with these activities and is merely playing a character to advance his music career. And until I see some evidence presented by the police, if he's arrested, I have no reason to doubt him other than his flashy lifestyle filled with diamond chains and stacks of money. Let's not act like this is the first time we've seen a rapper fake a persona. Some have even said that Dev's explanations in the scamming methods in YouTube Tommy G's video could be used as evidence against him in the future, but I find it hard to believe that Dev is so naive as to show his hands so casually, no matter how arrogant he may appear. You can come back and comment if I'm wrong. Despite the numerous controversies surrounding him, Punch Made Dev intends to keep making music and gaining attention on the internet. Only time will tell if he faces legal consequences for his actions in the future. One thing is certain, the law is definitely watching. Do y'all agree for what he, what he's doing? Comment down below, or do y'all not agree to what he's doing? Um, or you do y'all think he's like you know you know he's bugging and all that shit? Comment down below, bro. I want to I want to hear your opinion. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. So we're just checking out you are.